Welcome back to the channel everyone. I know it's been a while and I'm sorry for that. Um, I haven't done a, a living in a ditch video for quite a while. I've, I've had plenty of rant about, but I just haven't got round to it. I suppose I'm trying to mellow out a little bit sometimes because you can't be angry all the time, can you? I tell you, you'll have a bloody coronary. Anyway, the video that's following this, that's coming, um, I had recorded a few days ago uh, to be part of a vlog on one of my other channels. Right? We actually have a, a, a channel called The Vlog Couple. If you want to search that, it's just youtube.com slash at the vlog couple UK. Um, and that's just our alternative lifestyle videos. As you can see, if you haven't noticed already, uh, we do live on a boat. So but I thought this video probably wasn't right for that channel. And I thought, bugger it. Let's put it on here. So this is all about the bullshit that they're trying to push on us about having a pandemic amnesty. They can fuck off. Here we go. Oh, I'll tell you, it's getting a little bit chilly out there, so I've decided to um, retreat to the cratch. And of course, you know what happens once I'm in the cratch, don't you? We have to have a little chat. So while I talk about this following subject, I'll shove myself over to one side and there'll be some graphics put on this side. Now, I don't know how many of you um, do the proper social media stuff. I'm not talking about just posting shit on Facebook and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I don't know how many of you follow alternative media or even how many of you watch um, the mainstream media. That's obviously an unknown to me. But a story that's been going around on, uh, on social media and in some of the mainstream media is this um, COVID amnesty. Now put the graphic next to, next to me here and it says we have to forgive each other. There has to be an amnesty. No, I'm sorry. There will be no amnesty from me. And I'll tell you why there'll be no amnesty from me is because I was lambasted. I was called so many names and all sorts of shit. And uh, no, I'm not going to forgive those people that did that to me. Now, this isn't really actually about me at all. I mean, I'm pretty thick skinned, as most of you will know. So I don't really give a shit. <clears throat> um, but, 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 but there were some very famous people and obviously the mainstream media pushing the old on people calling us granny killers and all sorts of stuff so as i said there's, there's obviously graphics going on besides me so you can see what was been said there's, it's just a select few things that i've seen and uh, basically what they're saying yeah is we should forgive each other there's absolutely no way on earth, on earth that i'm going to do this now there is a backstory to this in case you haven't seen it on mainstream media um there was a um a talk in actually a European, um, the European Commission, I believe, or, or in their European Parliament, if you can call it a Parliament, where the old, um, the one starting with PF and the Z in it, um, one of the um, directors was present for that. And she was asked a question uh, as whether to, or sorry, whether the stopped transmission, or was it tested for it? Is that what it was made for before it was released? And she actually laughed and said no. So now everything that followed that, so we're on about the old passports, we're on about take this or else you're killing granny, the lockdowns, all that sort of stuff was based on a lie. And that has come out. This is not conjecture, it's not, not bullshit. This is the truth. And these people like Andrew Neil, Piers Morgan and all that lot, telling us we should be punished for not taking the and basically may feel like pieces of shit slandered and no there will be no amnesty i swear to god i don't want to rub people's faces and anything i always said that i wanted to be wrong didn't i but i knew the information was out there the information was out there and people chose not to look it's la 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 no, I'm sorry, I've got no sympathy anymore. Now, I don't wish harm upon anyone. Well, not the general public, let's, let's say that. Um, but I do. And this is terrible that I feel like this. I do want to see people like Matt Hancock and the scientists and all these other people that pushed this nonsense, especially the passports thing, 
and we're going to kill Granny. I do want to see them brought to justice. Now I say justice rather than retribution. Retribution is God. And I'm not a holy person, but I do kind of believe that retribution comes through karma. So um, if, if that happens, well, then it happens. But as for people calling for an amnesty, so you slagged all people like me off. You made me feel like a piece of shit. Not just me, but I'm just, I'm saying me uh, as an example. I listened to Ashley James last night on GB News. Now, she's a lefty, okay? So you would think that I don't, wouldn't have too much affinity. Very lovely lady, right? But her political views do differ from mine. But she told us a story last night about she was pregnant at the start of the lockdowns. And she took the... Because of, guess what? Because of pressure. She started crying on, on the telly. And, and it, that's not like her. She's not that sort of person. She was bawling her eyes out and said she feel, felt that she was coerced into doing something. And, uh, you know, she also spoke, and other people have spoke, by the way. I've seen a few other things. Um, you need to watch Ver Verisant Vincent on YouTube. Tell him I told you to come over there. And maybe he'll send a few of his lot up our way. You need to listen to I'm going to link him below, actually, because he's kind of talking about what I'm talking about here. And he's, he's very well, he, he puts it better than I do. I get angry, you see. But yeah, I'm disgusted with what's going on at the moment. I'm disgusted with some people that are still pushing it, especially Andrew Neil. Yeah, I want to see uh, retribution. Yeah, that's too strong. As I say, that, that's for God, if you believe in that. But I do want to see him pay. I do want to see the likes of Piers Morgan pay. You seem to be sliding under a rock saying, oh, well, I agreed with it. I thought it was right at first. And then I educated myself and was against it. Well, no, you weren't. I never heard you say one word. Dr. Hillary, all those absolute shithouses. But you know what? They wanted unvaccinated. They were saying people who were un... I nearly said the word then. They were un... To wear a fucking star saying that they hadn't had the... Where have we heard that before? I'm sorry that this vlog is turning this way, but this is very close to my heart. And um, I'm glad in one way that I'm on the right side of history. And I just hope to God that these people that were pushing all of this and basically slandering me and the likes of me and people who actually had a fucking brain and um, did some, some of their own research, they need to apologise. They need, Or at least admit that they got it wrong and that they were brainwashed, they were hypnotised. All I can suggest from this moment on, and God help us, please do this, stop believing everything that you hear on the mainstream media. You have to start doing your own research because we're being fed some awful shite at the moment. We really are. And we're not talking just about the old <laughs> and all that. I'm talking in general. You need to start looking elsewhere for your news. I can only pray and hope that by me coming out and saying this and putting my bloody head up, up, up the parapet, what the good up the parapet, above the parapet, that will give a few of you some courage to do the same thing and say, no, this ends today. Well, that's me rant over. Dilly dilly, and I'll speak to you later. I'm sorry if I've upset a few people, but it needed to be said.